He wraps himself in light as with a garment. He spreads out the heavens and walks on the wings of the wind. He sends forth the springs from the valleys. They flow between mountains. The birds of the air dwell by the water. Lifting their voices in song Singing glory 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 to the Lamb All praises and all The Latin American Fellowship of Reformed Churches, or CLEAR by its Spanish acronym, was founded in 1993 with the purpose of strengthening Christ's Church throughout the region and to provide a network of like-minded Christians to help one another, to work together for the evangelization of Latin America, and to promote and defend sound doctrine. Today, CLEAR is made up of Reformed churches and institutions from most of the countries in Latin America and run by a board of directors made up of pastors from these countries who are biblically sound and committed to Christ's church. Although there have been immense obstacles to overcome, many pastors and lay leaders today look to clear for direction and support for both local and broader ministry. CLEAR has had a different focus from other ecclesiastical organizations in the sense that our fellowship is specifically made up of those who represent denominations and churches. Those who participate in CLEAR are pastors and leaders in the frontline trenches in the battle for the gospel, and this fact has given the fellowship its strong sense of service to the church. Both our literature and the conferences that CLEAR organizes are clearly designed to provide practical and useful material for God's people. Latin America as a region has not been unified in past history. Conflict, skirmishes, and even wars between countries have plagued the region for many years. Politics and economics have made communication and cooperation a difficult task for these Christians in the past. Each country had its own monetary unit, and many governments formerly obstructed international travel and purchasing. Another real factor that impeded cooperation in past decades were governments that were often influenced by the Roman Catholic Church and unfriendly to Protestant churches. The result was that even where the same denomination planted churches in different countries, unity and cooperation were difficult to promote. And we shouldn't ignore the general individualistic tendency of sinful humans as well. The National Presbyterian Churches of both Mexico and Brazil have around one million members. These churches were founded in the 1860s and have grown to be significant denominations in their countries. But there are many countries in Latin America where very little or no Reformed witness has been present. In other cases, the Reformed churches have become very liberal. So in 1993, a small group of Reformed leaders met together to form a fellowship with goals of facilitating mutual support, helping promote the Reformed faith throughout Latin America, and serving to unite Reformed believers in the task of missions to Latin America. CLEAR was born. In spite of almost insurmountable obstacles seen from a human perspective, CLEAR began to serve the churches in fulfilling these goals. In 1997, I was invited to fill the position of Executive Secretary of CLEAR 
and called by the Bethany United Reformed Church of Wyoming, Michigan, to serve in this capacity. Since we, with our four children, were already living in Costa Rica and working in a church plant and a small Christian school, it was agreed that my family would stay in Costa Rica while I assumed the duties of executive secretary. Even though financial and logistical challenges have made progress at times slow, nevertheless the Lord has blessed the fellowship's efforts, and today a very compact network of Reformed leaders has come together throughout the region. God has brought some of the best Spanish Reformed theologians, pastors, and thinkers into CLEAR's team. A vision for joint cooperation in missions and publications, however, is still lagging behind. Thanks to many congregations and individuals in North America, CLEAR today is seen as a dynamic catalyst for ministry and theological reflection. But this vision for joint cooperation and publication needs to expand and be promoted more widely. One activity which has been key for CLEAR's vision is the role that conferences play. Rather than simply sponsoring a conference and going home, our vision is to provide more lasting results. We want to see fruitful relationships established between leaders and churches. We want to see materials left behind, which will serve in the training and edification of the church in future years. For this reason, we have promoted grassroots participation whenever possible. CLEAR has facilitated travel for Latin theologians to give conferences in other countries or regions, thus aiding friendship, the sharing of gifts in the broader Church of Christ, and stimulating mutual relationships, which in some cases have produced long-term commitments of mutual support. Since these conferences are linked to our vision for publications, the topics given virtually always include Spanish books and study material that we have printed, thus reinforcing even more the themes covered and allowing for continuing education. Another aspect of CLEAR's conferences which has enabled thousands and thousands to participate in them is that local churches, presbyteries or classes, commit themselves to significant portions of the logistics and expenses so that with a relatively small investment, CLEAR is able to provide a speaker and ship our books to the location. The blessing of seeing Christ's church mobilized around a common goal has indeed been marvelous, and it is only due to this kind of commitment and involvement that we have been able to fulfill our mission. A key partner for CLEAR has been the ministry of Mintz led by Dr. Neil Hegeman, with the participation of Rev. Eric Pennings in Central America. Mintz joined CLEAR immediately, and we have participated together on numerous occasions for both conferences and the publication of theological texts. When I agreed to give direction to CLEAR's activities in 1997, there was no budget included. Both my own salary and operating expenses would have to be funded. I am thankful to God for my wife, who always stood by me in times where we faced not a few difficulties. Since the network that CLEAR wanted to create did not yet exist, I was faced with the formidable task of creating this fellowship with very little funds. Leaning on the Lord for wisdom, I decided that a Spanish Reformed theological journal with both theological and pastoral focus would be the most economical and most practical way to begin the task. Our journal named Reforma Siglo XXI, or Reformation 21st Century, was born. In spite of the fact that I had never touched a printing press, I was willing to try my hand. The Escondido United Reformed Church sent down a used press, which we placed in a shed in our yard. 
and the printing commenced. I won't divulge how many trees were sacrificed and made into paper while I learned the skills of printing. But by the end of 1999, our first journal saw the light of day. Nothing fancy. In fact, quite ugly and amateurish. But a project was underway which would carry Clear's name and mission to virtually every corner of Latin America. Great sacrifices were made in those initial years, and God taught us many lessons on how to live by faith. As more people and churches began to help, additional machinery was brought to Costa Rica, and soon we moved from the shed to the upstairs above our garage. As the thirst for vital reformed Spanish materials was being met, we eventually moved into the garage to make room for a small storehouse. Our print shop was transformed into a respectable printing operation. We have been able to provide the journal to pastors and lay leaders in over 25 countries with minimal cost. We depend on offerings and donations to fund the cost of printing. Your gifts have indeed blessed thousands of Christians in North America, South America, and Spain. Once we had printing presses and some equipment, the tremendous lack of Reformed literature began to weigh heavy on us. Very few of John Calvin's commentaries were translated, and many of the standard Reformed works that we take for granted were not available. Leadership training in areas such as Sunday school, young people's family relationships, teaching and missions were sadly lacking in Spanish. Slowly we began the tedious work of translation and publication of authors such as John Calvin, Herman Ritterboss, Abraham Kuyper, Peter Jones, Norman de Young, J. Gresham Machen, and others. We also encouraged Latin authors to write, and we have produced study material based on scripture and the catechisms. From our humble beginnings, it is only a testimony to God's providence and grace that Clear has now over 75 titles in print in addition to 14 consecutive years of publication of our Reformed Journal, all solidly Reformed works. The Lord began bringing other people to help us over the years. There are various brethren in different countries who have helped in translation, the distribution of our publications, and who have been instrumental in coordinating conferences. For each one, we give thanks to the Lord. Not much of Clear's work could have been accomplished without a key member of our team, Lester Martinez. Lester joined me in the year 2000 and has worked alongside me now for 13 years. He has a degree in business administration and not only helps with the printing and hands-on work, but also coordinates CLEAR's other activities, such as our conferences, schedules for publication, shipping, and so forth. His commitment to our mission has inspired many others both in Costa Rica and abroad. In the year 2008, Reverend Nick and Rose LeMay were called and sent by the Trinity United Reformed Church of Caledonia, Michigan. A graduate of Mid-America Seminary, Reverend LeMay's principal task is to edit and coordinate our publications. Nick brings a solid theological background, technical skills, and an artist's eye to our team. Not only has he produced his own material, but also he has helped clear greatly to improve the presentation of our books and expand into the area of digital media. Some of Clear's books are currently available through Logos, thanks to Reverend LeMay's efforts. Daniel Lobo is another recent addition to our team who brings fluency in English and translating skills, along with website development and audiovisual abilities. In fact, Daniel is the one taping me right now and is the one who made this video. Daniel has made significant improvements to our CLEAR website, incorporating former articles published in our journal, which are now available digitally by means of a searchable database. 
Judith Borges recently began to work for us in accounting, book sales, and distribution. As this aspect began to expand and grow, we saw a real need for a person dedicated to taking orders and following up on the shipping. Judith has helped clear increased shipment of books by about 30% since coming on board. There are several pressing needs that member churches in Latin America are asking CLEAR to fill. One is the translation and publication of Reformed Old Testament commentaries, of which there are virtually none. To date we have finished Calvin's commentaries on Jonah and Joel, and are currently working on Genesis and Joshua. But another urgent need is in the area of Sunday school and catechism materials for all levels of children and young people. There is a lack of good reformed curricula. In this regard, the Gulf Presbytery of Tabasco, Mexico has begun to work on the lower levels and CLEAR has already begun translation of the new URC curriculum for high school age. We are looking at the possibility that CLEAR print all these materials and make them available not only for Mexico, but for Spanish speakers of all North and South America. We want to invite you to consider helping us with these opportunities to bless future generations of Christians in Latin America. As we reflect over these past 20 years since CLEAR was started, we are thankful to the Lord for the privilege of serving Christ's Church in Latin America. We haven't done it alone. Many, many friends and supporters have stood with us. We would like to urge three things upon you as we close this video. Firstly, give thanks to the Lord for what has been accomplished through the ministry of CLEAR so far. We can be thankful that hundreds of churches, many seminaries and leaders, and thousands of church members have been blessed by our conferences and publications. Second, please make CLEAR a regular prayer item. Without God's help, we are nothing. We are mindful of our daily needs and frailty. Please uphold our team and ministry in frequent prayer. Even though much has been accomplished, sometimes we feel as if we've only just begun. The Spanish-speaking world is huge and growing in population. Reformed churches are growing also, but heresy and false teaching is also growing by leaps and bounds. I believe that CLEAR's leadership is needed in this changing world. I believe that CLEAR has a role to play in helping Reformed Christians work together for the advancement of the Gospel. I believe that CLEAR's vision for Reformed literature is a worthy cause. Translation, publication, travel costs, all these things require still needed funding. As our publication ministry has grown, our print shop can hardly handle our inventory and machinery. We are bursting at the seams and have outgrown the garage. CLEAR really needs its own property and printing facility. Will you please make the ministry and the mission of CLEAR one of your praise and prayer items? Would you also consider our financial needs for your giving? CLEAR is meeting concrete, practical needs that Reformed churches in Latin America have. The doors are open at this time. Let us move forward while it is still day. If you can give toward our regular budget, please do so. If the Lord moves you to help make a significant contribution toward the purchase of a piece of property for the printing facility, you will be helping future generations for years to come. Thank you for your interest in our ministry. We close with the verse that has been our theme verse for many years. For I am not ashamed of the gospel of Christ. For it is the power of God for salvation to everyone who believes, for the Jew first and also for the Greek.
looks at the earth and it trembles He touches the mountains and they smoke I will sing to the Lord all my life I will sing praises to my God As long as I live Praises to the Lord, oh my soul Singing glory 